You know, the topic of signaling is, is a little bit complex and, and you know, I'll go through in, in a couple of different examples. We actually saw a very analogous problem eight, ten years ago when everyone on the email side moved from using dial-up to DSL and cable. And when you had your dial-up, you uh, sat at home and you checked your email twice a day, three times a day kinds of stuff. And as soon as you, everyone moved from dial-up to DSL and cable, they weren't necessarily sending a lot more mail yet. They weren't necessarily receiving a lot more mail yet, but their computer was always on and instead of checking their mail two or three times a day, they were checking their mail two or three times a minute. And the programs just constantly checked for mail. The mail systems at the ISPs weren't necessarily transferring a lot more data, but they were being crushed by how often devices, computers were saying, you got anything new? You got anything new? That's an aspect of what signaling is. We've seen this in the mobile side as well, right? We've all been at a conference or we've all been in a crowded area where I pick up my mobile phone and I, I, I can't get a, a connection to make a phone call or my data application can't currently connect to that service in the cloud that it wants to connect to. That's because the way that my mobile phone talks to the cloud is my mobile phone is in a given cell site and it talks to the cell tower for that cell site and that cell tower only has a certain number of what are called channels available to transport voice and data on. And signaling is the aspect of my phone um, getting one of those available channels and so that it can use that channel for voice or for data or for whatever it needs to do. And when I'm in a crowded place and I can't currently make a phone call, it's because all those channels are occupied by somebody else. And so when you have all of these different data applications on your device and they're all independently waking up and using channels on the network to just to check, like in that email example before, just to check to see if there's anything new to do, half the time there's not anything new for that application to do but it's still using channels on the network, it's still waking up and getting an IP address and shutting back down, that it's preventing other consumers from doing perhaps real work. So Seven can come in and solve these problems for the mobile operator by using our vast history of you know, 10 plus years in handling push, in handling data transport and doing so in a mobile optimized fashion that addresses not just the battery life on the device but also how do I reduce these aspects of congestion? How do I reduce these aspects of signaling? How do I make it so that those, all those different applications on the device can be better aligned in how they access data and better aligned in terms of when they access data and better aligned in terms of how they actually use the network.